Hmm, what could be the theme for this week's bake? Whimsical, unrehearsed musing link made up while they set all the shots up, finishing with us both looking at the camera and talking together, gather. Blim 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 The friendliest drone in the sky is filming buttercups and I'm Sue Perkins, a little bit wasted here, calling Paul a silverback gorilla because this is the best joke we've managed in five years, so we put it in every show. And I'm Mel Gedroich, a bit frowny, a bit heavy on the puns, but lovely, always very very lovely. In fact, we're all lovely, lovely and nice, nice contestants, like the nice young vulnerable one, the lovely little old one, the nice self-taught everyman one, the lovely camp married one, and the really really lovely one that's just so nice. Which one is that one? You know, the one who's... No. Bakers, your first task is to take 60 quid's worth of ingredients and bake a loaf of bread you could buy an Aldi for 23p. So if you're ready, on your marks, get set, we're gone! With a needless explanatory voiceover, Paul and Mary walk about the tent like exam invigilators, helping themselves to contestants' polos. So what I'm going to do now is ask you a question about your bake, and however you answer it, I'm going to look at you as if you're just crafting my mixer. What are you going to do with all those freshly stiffened whipped egg whites? Um, I don't know really. Or I might just take him and fold him into my hair. Also, did you steal my belt? Okay, let's chat to a contestant, seizing gratefully on anything involving nuts, baps, balls, torpedoes, sausages, pears, spotted dick, bottoms, tops, middles, rising, glazing, squirting, filling, custard, yogurt, and stools, whatever. 30 minutes remaining for us to work out our next laboured pun. Oh, let me help you, lovely. Whoops, I've trashed your cake. Oh dear, unlucky for you, lovely, but great telly. Mm, great telly, lovely. Time for the judging, which is completely anonymous, apart from the fact that the judges can see that the cake they're sampling plainly belongs to the one who's crying and has all the cameras pointing at them. The gingham altar is soaked with blood. Paul Hollywood, a secret modern-day Sweeney Todd, is already out the back repurposing failed Bake Off contestants and baking them into creations in his spin-off series, Pies and Puds and Pieces of Peter from Series 3. Mary Berry is here, who after a lifetime of training can metabolise a cream horn in eight seconds and has therefore maintained the physique of a dehydrated Kate Moss. Oh, I'm going to say something faint crazy like the flavour of the flower comes through, which is the same as someone normal telling you you've committed a war crime. Time now for the result, which the British public seems to be more engaged in than a general election. This week's star baker is that one and oh this is hard, this week's loser is that one. Let's all come off our diagonal tape marks for an unconvincing group hug. Uh, I'm a contestant now talking to someone off camera about how disappointed I am or how happy I am, which you probably could have worked out anyway from the sequence that we just saw. That's it for another week. Back to immigration, ISIS and fracking. Bye!